Hey guys, what's up? It's Amy. It is officially Tuesday. Um, I didn't update you post when I think I got my nails done yesterday. I ended up being so busy at work. I could not leave until about 6.45. I didn't get home till about 7.20. Then I had to make dinner. And then I managed to finish up um, The Wicked Will Rise, which I liked. Um, I don't have any like rave reviews about it, but I definitely didn't dislike it as much as uh, some of the reviews made me believe I would. I feel like it got a really bad rap saying like nothing happened, and I guess nothing major happened, but it, de it definitely set up for um, another book, and it was interesting enough as it was going on. Look at this, we got Bubba digging in the couch here. Stop it. Sit down. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought it was, I thought it was much better than, than I had anticipated given everything negative I had read. I don't think I've heard one person say anything positive about The Wicked Will Rise by Daniel Page, and I really love it. I love reading something that is written in a way that you could see yourself saying it and reacting to it, and that's exactly how she does. Anyway, after I finished that, I was thinking, well, I've only got bigger books out for, going out from here, so I might as well get a start on one. So I have picked up The Merciless. Um, this is for my Beautiful Spine Challenge. Um, so I am definitely jumping around, but I think that that's okay. I think people could do that if they want. So that's the next one I'm working on. Um, this one is only 293 pages, I think. 279 pages. I think Dar I think The Wicked Will Rise was 293. So I've done, I did good with picking two small books to get started here. Um, I have one more small book, and that is my, uh, read a book about something you want to do, which is the memoir that I'm going to read. Um, I do think that I'm going to switch up my hat challenge because that is a pretty thick book called Rush about um, sorority life, but it's not a memoir, it's a novel, and it doesn't seem super interesting. Um, that's an advanced copy of a book I got that is due towards the end of the month. So I'm going to push that off because this is the time to be reading things I'm super excited to read that I'm like, yes, let's do this. We're going to tear through these books because that is what a readathon's about. And I picked a good one for that because I am 86 pages into it. I started reading it at about 11 o'clock last night, um, probably right around 11, and I went to bed maybe slightly after midnight, but I don't think I went to bed after midnight, so I really covered some ground in that for only an hour or so. Um, other than that, I have to go off to another day of work, and I hope that it's not nearly as long of a day, but it might be, and I'll try and check in with you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, getting ready to roll out of work. I was so busy, I think I got to read maybe 10 pages today. But I did tell myself I was absolutely gonna leave earlier. Sorry, Taylor Swift came on. Um, I did tell myself that I was absolutely gonna leave earlier today so that I could get home and do a whole bunch of reading because I have about 170 or so pages left to do on uh, the Merciless and the rest of my books are much bigger so I really want to get that taken care of so I can start diving into something else tonight. All right, check in later. Bye. Hey guys, checking in. The Merciless is complete. I read it by myself, sitting in the living room, listening to music, 
and honestly kept stopping every couple of seconds to be like, what's that noise? Is there someone here? Is the devil in my house? I don't even know because I just heard another noise from upstairs and hopefully it's my husband moving around. So, ah, uh, let's go over here. I'll show you my next one. Decided to go for something lighter. So we're gonna do this next. I'm gonna get started tonight. Hopefully I can put a decent chuck in it. See y'all tomorrow.